Hello Aquarius. This is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. I appreciate you. Aquarius, this will be your reading for December the 15th through the 31st. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to see your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay. <clears throat> and excuse my voice because my voice is a little scratchy. So we have dissipating. So, yeah, Aquarius, I feel like you're kind of in a blah kind of mood. <clears throat> I feel like you... I feel like you're just going through the motions at the moment. Um, you also have bittersweet at the bottom. So what are you going through? What's going on, Aquarius? Let's get some more cards. Yeah, for some reason, I feel like you're spending a lot of alone time. I feel like you're disconnecting for some reason. Why are you disconnecting, Aquarius? You have Divine Matrix. Okay, so... So, I feel like you are... I feel like you're working on yourself on certain issues. Interesting. <clears throat> you also have shining through. So, I, I feel like you're trying to overcome any obstacles that you're facing at the moment. Let's see what else we have for Aquarius. We have joy and delight. Okay, so, I feel like you, you know, I feel like you want your inner child to come out <laughs> for some reason. And at the bottom, you have hibernation and regeneration. <clears throat> so, yeah, you know, this time of the year, I, I feel like you, you're trying to be upbeat about your situation, Aquarius. It could be that you're not feeling well. It could be that you've been ill over the last couple of days. But I feel like you are, you're resting you're trying to heal what animal spirit do we have the pronghorn action now is the time to act opportunities are here move forward with confidence your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success Okay, Aquarius. And you also have strength on the bottom. <clears throat> you have Leo energy. The lion, higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success, contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and for your tribe. So, yeah, I feel like you are, you're not only making decisions for yourself, Aquarius. I feel like you're making decisions with other people in mind as well. You could be taking care of your tribe. You're taking care of your loved ones, the people around you. You're their protector. Okay, angels. What do you have for Aquarius for December 15th through the 31st? We have Fiona. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become in inspired by your act, by your example. 
Okay, so you could be an inspiration to others at the moment. Something that you're doing is inspiring others to take action. What are you doing that's inspiring others? Okay, you also have Grace and Antoinette. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So yeah, there may be a little spit. There may be a little um, conflict, obstacles that you're going through at the moment. You may be having debates, um, arguments during this time. And Spirit is asking you to see the other one's point of view. And sometimes that's hard, especially when we're in some kind of heated discussion or debate a heated argument you know we really don't want to see the other person's point of view but that's exactly what spirit is asking you see the other person's point of view okay, <clears throat> okay what tarot do we have for Aquarius for December 15th through the 31st what do we have for Aquarius we have the Eight of Wands. So yes, yeah, something is coming in quickly. Um, you may receive some news. You have the Seven of Wands. Lots of Wands. This may be work related. More Wands. Nine of Wands. Stand firm. Yeah, this definitely may be work related. If this isn't work related, this is what you need to act upon. This is what you need to take action for. This is your spark. Um, but I feel like you're going to receive some type of news. And this news may not be the best news at the moment. Um, it may not be what exactly you were looking for. Um, it may not be the news that you were expecting. But I feel like you're standing firm on your situation. You're holding it together. Hmm. You're maintaining your balance. What else do we have for Aquarius? We have the Four of Pentacles. We have Temperance. And we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. I was feeling like maybe you were going to have some conflicts at the moment. And it could be over money. It could be over finances. Um, I feel like maybe more is going out that, than what's coming in at the moment. And it's making, it's creating some kind of conflict between you and another person. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a need to balance the situation. You want to balance whatever is being overspent, whatever is um, extending your finances, overextending your finances, I should say. Okay, you have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Wands, okay? And we have the World card. Very interesting. You also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. So I feel like whatever is going on, I feel like you, you're working very hard in your situation. Um, but I feel like this Queen of Swords, this could be... This could be your energy, Aquarius. This could also be someone that you're with, someone that you're around, um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but I feel like this person is 
giving you some sort of information. They're giving you some sort of knowledge that's going to help you in your situation. I feel like this knowledge that they're giving, this also could be you coming at your, aha, this is how I solved this issue. Um, but I feel like it's giving you victory. I feel like it's giving you victory in your situation and it's going to bring some sort of cycle to completion. I feel like whatever this is, you've learned the, this lesson of this situation. This could also be you finding out where that you're going to be traveling. Yeah, this could also be you traveling um, to different destinations. Maybe traveling the world, going overseas, um, and you're finding out that those plans are set. But yeah, that's something in your life you have victory. And there's a completion here. You've, you've learned this goal. You've um, went past this hurdle. You've overcome this obstacle. And you did it very successfully. Okay, what else do we have for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to take action on? Um, because I feel this is what's going to bring you joy and delight. So I feel like this situation is going to make you very happy. But now, what does Aquarius need to take action on? What action needs to be taken? <clears throat> the King of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, and you have the Emperor on the bottom. So yeah, I think Aquarius. I think you're finding your power at this time. You're becoming very powerful. It could also be in um, in the next week or so. It could be that you're gaining some kind of money that's going to solve your problem and make you feel more independent. You're gaining your abundance from some situation. And I feel like this information, this situation is going to come in swiftly. I feel like you weren't expecting it. You weren't anticipating this outcome. But I feel like it's going to bring you more abundance. I feel like more money will be coming in, especially with that emperor energy. That emperor, he's a boss. He's very powerful. He's very um, strategic. He's a great provider, great leader. So I feel with that uh, emperor energy, I feel like you're bossing up on the situation. Something's coming through that you least expected. Okay. What else do we have for Aquarius for December 15th? Through the 31st. What else do we have? The Hermit. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. At the bottom we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so I don't see a lot of love in this reading, Aquarius. I'm sorry to say, I really don't see a whole lot of love. I see that maybe you have just went through a breakup. Um, I feel like you have just left something behind. It could be that you're just leaving a relationship uh, with this Queen of Cups and this Hermit card. I feel like you are kind of stepping out on your own. 
you're kind of loving yourself at the moment. I feel like some situation you had to walk away from. That's the reason why you have the three of swords on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're taking a lot of time out for yourself. You are gaining your perspective. You're changing your views on love. Very interesting. Okay. So let's clarify the situation for Aquarius. Yeah, I really don't see too much love in this reading, but I see that you're really working on your finances. You're working on your pinnacle. You're trying to gain your success, and I feel like your success is coming. I feel like you have that achievement under your belt, Aquarius. I feel like that's there for you. And I feel like you are going to receive some kind of information. Now, you may receive information that isn't good at the beginning, but I feel like the information that you're looking for is going to turn all of that around. The first initial information may be a little doubtful. You may start to uh, be insecure about the situation, but hold tight. That's why we have the nine of wands here. Spirit is saying, hold tight. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Be persistent. Be persistent. Your news is coming. Your news is here. You know, you have your success. You've learned your lessons. You've gained your independence. You are the king of pentacles. The king, king of pentacles is very wise. He's very practical. He's also very... Um, abundant. He's successful. And remember now you had the emperor on the bottom. Something that you don't expect. You don't expect to have that emperor energy surrounding you. And I feel like with the emperor and the king of pinnacles, I feel like you are just, you're like a snowball um rolling down a hill just gathering your abundance very interesting okay what do we have for aquarius we have the devil okay so i feel like you may come across some blockages sometime during this december uh, this could also be capricorn energy actually um, you may have a Capricorn in your life, but I do feel like there are some sort of blockages that you need to gain your balance from. Um, some kind of insecurities, some kind of... Hmm, they could also represent addiction, greed, envy, materialism, um, addiction. Yeah, so some kind of obsession that needs to be balanced, Aquarius. So yeah, that, that is something that you may want to focus on. Removing that blockage. Yeah, and I do feel like, you know, you're in kind of a drought right now, Aquarius. I feel like you are, you're carrying a lot of worry. You're stressing. But you have help you have guidance you have this spark around you with the queen of wands energy you are you have this spark of energy that's actually going to uplift you um and it could be that you know because of this blockage and not knowing maybe how to balance it not knowing how to move past this may bring you to a low point but i feel like that low point is going to be very um short-lived i feel like you are going to be uplifted and it may be because you need to be around other people you may need to be around your people who care about you your people who love you your friends and family but you're ending off with the emperor aquarius 
So you have found your power. You have found your success. You have found your abundance. You're bossing up on the situation, definitely. And I feel like you're building something that um, is very long term for your success. Okay, Aquarius. What is Aquarius manifesting at this time? Can you give me some cards to let me know what Aquarius is manifesting at this time, please? Okay, New Moon in Taurus. Aquarius, know your worth. You are valuable. You are, you're more valuable than words. People see the value in you. New moon in Scorpio. Aquarius, go deeper. Ask source for guidance. Ask your higher power for guidance. And embrace the flow of life. Sometimes, Aquarius, we just have to go with the flow in order to get out of that stuck energy. So, yeah, full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. One more card for Aquarius. Okay. And for uh, first quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurities. Yes, and you are able to do that. And what you don't expect on the bottom, new moon in Gemini, Aquarius, think it through. So whatever situation that you're going through, take time to think things out. You know, don't just um, be too hasty in a situation. And don't just act without thinking. Think things through before you approach the situation to try to resolve it. Okay, what else do we have for Aquarius? Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. And we have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So yeah, I think that you sought out the answers and they're coming to you. Communication is key. Full moon, uh, new moon in Gemini. You have a lot of Gemini cards, Aquarius. I feel like there may be a Gemini around you that's um, cheering you on. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Exactly. Find your balance. And last, what you don't see, Aquarius, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Definitely. Now let's get some cards from the universe. What does the universe want to tell Aquarius? What cards do we have for Aquarius for December the 15th through the 31st? The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Yeah, so in order for love to come into your life, you may want to realign your energies. It could be that your energies are off. So especially with all this disappointment and um, worry, your, your alignment could be off. So you may want to meditate, um, center yourself, find your ground, and then uh, you'll be more open to love. I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think the universe is letting you know that there are lessons to be learned in whatever it is that you're going through. I think that you're going to learn these lessons and you're going to find growth in this situation. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Okay. Have faith and know that it's coming, Aquarius. I surrender to the power greater than me. Exactly. And what you don't see on the bottom. I am a spirit having a human experience. 
and I am here to get closer to love. Yeah, that's exactly what the, the universe wants you to do. And I feel like this is saying for you to be more intuitive. This is for you to really focus on that meditation, really focus on opening up your intuition and trusting what's coming in for you. Okay. Um, what, what can Aquarius do in order to overcome any obstacles or challenges that they face um, this month? What can Aquarius do to overcome any obstacles or challenges this month? Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yet, they want you to take action. Change. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So yeah, they want you to have more patience. Work on your patience, Aquarius. And I feel like you're patient as it is. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. No. And relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay. And you have at the bottom empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Yeah, and that's exactly what we were saying here, um, Aquarius. You know, um, take time to look at both sides of the situation. Take time to really um, see the other person's point of view. See, you know, we don't know how a person feels. We don't know what they're going through until we walk into their shoes. And of course, you can't walk in someone else's shoes. You can't live their life for them. So just all we can do is empathize for their situation and know that, you know, everybody is going through something. Um, so yeah, just, just have empathy, Aquarius. Okay, that is your reading for December. And if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation, Aquarius. Have a wonderful December. Many blessings to you. Love and light.